Hey, so I'm just about to start my morning training and I just had a thought I wanted to share. It's about, um, it's about friendliness and it's about uh, the, the mixed martial arts community or a stereotype of the mixed martial arts community uh, of unfriendliness or, um, which obviously is not everybody in the mixed martial arts community, um, but the stereotype of like being a tough guy, um, oh, I do MMA, etc. I've seen that kind of quote uh, in different uh, places from more traditional martial artists as a martial artist that's grown up mixing martial arts. <laughs> um, you know, I have I, I love and respect for everybody's uh, style and passion. That said, I think it's a really interesting uh, thought formula that I'm, I'm working on right now. So I wanna share. For somebody who is, um, thinks that they're a tough guy in any martial art, whether it's a mixed, mar the mixed martial arts, quote unquote, which, um, you know, if someone says I do mixed martial arts, I already kind of say to myself, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what is your discipline and what is your path? You know, um, I mean, MMA is a, is a sport and it's, and it, uh, you know, but, but the sport is, is just like Muay Thai is a sport. You know, Muay Thai is based on Muay Baran, mixed martial arts is based on multiple disciplines. And what discipline do you find your home in? Um, my point is the friendliness and When I have experienced, um, the, 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 uh, uh, there's a guy here at my park, this park right here, who I see every morning. And, you know, he's, he's got, he might not be an MMA guy. He, he looks like an MMA guy. He might not be an MMA guy. Um, I say hi to him every morning. And he says hi back, but it's, it's, it's like a, uh, a task for him. You know, it's, he's not very openly friendly. Uh, and he normally sees me training while he's walking his dog. Uh, he's got his tough guy walk up. <clears throat> he may not do martial arts at all, but he catalyzed this thought. And the thought is that if you are unfriendly with somebody because of your perceived status, and this can apply to anything, but I'm talking about martial arts right now. One of the things that I think is helpful to contemplate is death, your death. And to think about anyone that you've seen dying and their fear, if they've had it, which is probably rare if you've seen people that don't. And that fear of death, if you believe you are a tough guy, that that fear of death can be considered weakness. <clears throat> If you are truly about removing the weakness from your sphere, then, and that's not to say that fear is, is uh, well, fear is weak. <laughs> I, I actually am saying fear is weak. And, um, and I understand that there's, we're in a culture right now that's shifting toward more empathy or has shifted toward more empathy and more acceptance of people's feelings and that uh it's okay to be afraid uh before you're going into a ring and i think george st pierre says something very beautiful on that if i remember correctly i get it i totally get it um fear is still weak and i have fears and that's a part of my own weakness so i think it's important to to acknowledge that you have something that is weak I think that one of the big challenges in our culture right now is saying that everything's okay and that that's not true. <laughs> it is not true that everything's okay and it's not true that we're all equals. We're not all, you know, all inside from an energetic soul level. Um, you know, we're all part of the same system, um, but we're all different. And if we don't acknowledge those differences and we don't acknowledge the things that actually help us versus the things that, that detract from us, then we can't optimize our system. So when it comes to, uh, unfriendliness think about death think about people that that are afraid of dying think about your position to showcase yourself as a tough guy which might stem from fear um, but it also might stem from from a sense of entitlement um, a sense of I'm better than this uh, person etc and to recognize that being friendly to somebody, being loving, 
Uh, and that doesn't mean that you have to go and, and hey, how you doing? Small talk with people, because that could be a waste of time and energy uh, if you really want to be talking about efficiency and optimizing your strength. But there's no reason um, to, to carry the bravado that uh, a particular, whether it's mixed martial arts or, or a particular style might have um, in, in, around <laughs> uh, when people are attempting to be uh, loving and good to you. So I just think it's something important because when you look at death and you look at the fear and you recognize that that fear of death is actually a fear that you have now. You have that fear right now. So um, you can work on that weakness right now. Fear, yeah, I, I, I am afraid of this thing or that thing. Well, how can I work on that right now? And friendliness is one of the ways to work on fear. <laughs> sometimes, and this is getting a little too deep, sometimes friendliness is actually fear. Um, so, and so it really depends on what you have to work on in life. Some people overcorrect by being overly friendly and they're just afraid and, and, and they're saying to themselves, please don't hurt me, hi, I'm friendly. I totally understand that. Um, <clears throat> so, and of course there's a difference between being quiet and being to yourself and being unfriendly. Um, so yeah, just a thought I wanted to share and um, interested in anyone else's thoughts on this. Um, but I, I, I stand firm in the conviction that fear is a, a trait of weakness and that um, it's okay to be afraid as long as you acknowledge that it's something that you need to work on. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I am not, a, I, I, I'm not in, the, in the spectrum of saying that there's happiness and sadness and those are the only two ends of the spectrum. Or, you know, what, happiness on one side, sadness on the other side. Or... or like good on one side, bad on the other side. Like it, we're always in a trifecta. In the world duality, you, it, there's there's a there's a point above the the, the left and right, um, and that's equilibrium. So finding your equilibrium, um, so that you're above happiness and sadness, you're above um, uh, uh, the fears and um, and the worries. Very very important. So love you. I'll talk to you soon.